I know what you mean. All right. We're going to move on to our next video. Uh, we're going to go on to our next video. Now, y'all know, like I said, you know, I try to give you about to get ready to go, huh? Uh, they sleep. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go to our next video until the kids wake up. They sleep right now, so we're gonna try to fit this video in here right quick. Uh, you need some? All right. So now that we got that out the way, let's get back to the realness. Um. So I need everybody to understand what we own. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm finna ban him right now, T-Rex, my bad. <laughs> I need everybody to understand what we own. I'm in uh, Miami. I live in Miami now. This is what we really, the 2K stuff is the 2K stuff. But we're going to be able to paint real pictures inside of the 2K stuff, right? But now this is the stuff that I try to get my audience to be invested in. I know some of y'all about to check out. You about to leave. But I'm just saying, just stick around for a little bit and listen. Just listen. You know what I'm saying? Just listen. Now, I wasn't there. I was in Miami during the storm. So, just stick around and listen for a minute. So, let's get to the real stuff. Thank y'all for the support. You know, for the ones that going to check out and leave. Because, I, like I said, I know some of y'all don't really like to sit when we talking about this real stuff. Like, we're going to talk about that 2K, but this is stuff that matter to me. And I would like to share this with you from my heart. You know what I'm saying? This guy right here is named Robert C. Essen. He's been blowing up. He, he, he really, I was in here when he had 500 subscribers. In the last two weeks, he now has 15,000 Point three subscribers you know he's been talking about this real stuff and y'all know i always try to bring y'all content that gonna feed our spirit feed our mental to move forward in the real world this video game can only take us so far and that's to help us out when we having a hard day at work or we had a you know a little long work day or our girls is gone from the house and the kids and you know now we gonna play our 2k for a little moment but this is the stuff that's going to help us increase our real life badges. So let's sit down and let's chop it up for about 30 minutes. Please, let's hear the video. You know what I'm saying? For at least give it, give it 10 minutes. Give it 10 minutes. Please, that's all. Just, just hear, me, hear it for 10 minutes. If you ain't liking the 10 minutes, then you know I'll fuck with it. I appreciate you for stopping by. The link to the, this video will be in the description on my YouTube. Like I said, you can go check out his YouTube channel, Robert C. Essen, if you want to um, continue to follow his content, if you like what you Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Six Figure Morning Show. We give you the best advice in business and life. Thank you guys for all the likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I, you guys already know I appreciate it. To, uh, to the new people, welcome. To the old ones, good to see you again. Um, for the new people that's just coming on, because I'm I'm getting about I'm I'm ranging around I don't know at least a hundred new people a day. So for the new people that's coming on, this is an all-purpose business, life, and finance channel. We talk about everything. I'll cover marriage, divorce, racism, child support. I don't care. I'll help you build a startup. I will do it all because I've been through it all. I I do not I do not consider myself to be an expert or a master at any one thing, but I am definitely an apprentice of everything. I will forever be a student of life. I will never sit here and act as if I have mastered any one profession, any one genre. I will forever be a student of life forever because there's plenty I still don't know. There's plenty of things that I'm having to learn. I'm starting to realize that more and more on this channel as it grows. Some of the things people reach out to me and talk about, I'm like, man, I <laughs> don't know no what that is. So I got to go back to the drawing board, do my own homework, do my own research, and then come back and talk about it. <clears throat> 
So anyways, with that being said, guys, welcome. I'm, I'm glad to have you here. We do answer questions from the comment section on this channel. You can reach out to me on other platforms and I do offer hourly coaching. But uh, with that being said, let's tap into it, man. The first order of business today is going to be sobriety. I'm going to have I've said it a thousand times on this Please channel. Listen. I've said it over and over and over again. Please. You cannot climb the mountain of success under the influence of drugs and alcohol. It's not going to happen. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you think you are. I will run circles around you and other people around me just like me will run circles around you and me. There are people out here that are really hard hitting people. You need to choose your enemies wisely. And what I mean by that is not go out here and create unnecessary drama for yourself. But if you want a better life, the easiest way to do it is to take the hero's journey and follow the hero's thread. Pick someone that is in a position that you want to be in, do exactly what they did to get there, and then do a little more, double down you will eventually pass them by you will eventually beat them it is not cheating it's it's very unlikely that you are going to be an original in 2024 moving forward into the future of 2025 and beyond it is highly unlikely that you will be original everybody everything has almost already been done the best thing that you can do is find something bring value to it and just stick with it. Find something and bring value to it. And that's kind of how money is made, guys. You find something old and you bring it back to life. <sighs> but you would not be able to accomplish these things under the influence of drugs and alcohol. I'm talk I have a, I have a uh, following of young men and I need you to really understand. I don't give a shit what these rappers and fake gurus and all these people online are telling you. Tobacco is bad enough. There's no way possible that you will climb the ladder or the mountain of success under the influence of drugs and alcohol. It's just not going to happen. The recovery time's too long. The, it slows you down. You think you're going to sit around and smoke weed all day and be able to properly execute and function on the things that you need to do to get to the next level is not going to happen. You move too slow. You sit stuck watching TV and eating cereal, laughing at dumb shit. It's not going to happen, guys. I do not. And let's be honest, I'm not a, I, I, I sip wine, y'all know I have cut back on my alcohol, so I'm not a, you know, I used to, y'all know I used to drink wine probably every, every two weeks on the weekend, but I even cut back on that, so I think now I'm like, I probably drink once a month now, um, but y'all know I have done edibles. And I'm sure edibles and weed is the same thing, right? So y'all know I don't smoke weed, but y'all know like once a month I would eat an edible. Usually around the end of the month I would eat an edible. That just used to be my thing. Have my little edible. And every time I ate an edible, you know what the recovery time was like? That can tell you. It take me 24 hours to recover. To be honest, about 28 hours. So if I eat an edible on a Sunday, I'm not back right until Tuesday night. Do you know how much time I'm losing for investing on my business, my crafts? I can't hit the gym because I'm, I'm still woozy. But them edibles be hitting, and I take half. I don't even eat whole edibles. I take pieces. But them little pieces be having me gone for about 28 to 30 hours. Be done. So I know what he's saying. I didn't experience. You can't go out here and hustle and keep up the pace and keep up the grind when you don't need drugs, when you're under the influence of drug and alcohol. I know you can't do it. I didn't experience that what an edible feel like. And I'm pretty sure the edible and the weed very similar. I mean, it's still it's still narcotic, right? I really, whatever is in the edible, it. It's getting me high, and I be high as a motherfucking kite, and I can't move. I don't start moving until about the 24th hour, but I'm still woozy, and I don't get back right until about later on that Tuesday night. If I eat an edible Sunday night, by Tuesday night, I'm back able to 
start getting up and moving around the house. I'll be done, bro. I do not care what you see on TV. I do not care what you hear in music. That is lies. And the ones that are actively <laughs> out there using drugs and alcohol, the rappers, the musicians, the actors, they don't last long. Most of them die young. Most of them go broke. They nice. just don't last long. They become one hit wonders to never be heard from again. They don't last. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking to win over a lifetime. We're looking for longevity. We are looking to win. So for those that are young and you still want to party and do things, and I'm going to give you a rule that I used to live by, and that was freaking Fridays only. Friday night to Saturday night. No drinking on Sundays. No drugs, period. But Friday night to Saturday night, I, you pretty much have 24 hours to drink alcohol no alcohol on Sundays. Sundays is used to sober up and get prepared for the next work week. No drinking Monday through Friday, Friday night to Saturday night. No alcohol on Sundays. Sundays are used to sober up, drink water, do what you need to do for yourself and get prepared for the work week. You will not climb the mountain of success under the influence of drugs and alcohol. I have to harp on that because it seems to be an issue that I'm seeing with people that take my coaching program. I'm seeing a lot of people, heavy weed smokers, and I'm seeing a lot of people that want to drink. You know, and it's great you want to get your life together and your finances together, but it will not happen under the influence of anything. You need a clear mind. You need to move and operate at a high rate of speed. You're trying to get to the next level so you cannot stay the same. You cannot do what everybody around you is doing. <clears throat> I tell people all the time, the next level is free. It is free. The next level for you, actually, really like the next three levels. If you're at the bottom of the levels one, two, three, if you want to get straight to four, th these levels look like sobriety. They look like physical fitness and they look like education. And education does not necessarily mean going back to college. Education means going and reading and consuming good quality content. You can cons uh, consume uh, podcasts on YouTube. You can uh, listen to Audible, certain different books, business books, real estate, studying. The next level, most likely when you're at the bottom, is free. It is sobriety. Okay? It is physical fitness. And it is education. You don't have to pay for anything except the books that you buy. The next level is usually always free. And let me explain what my next level is. I already have the fitness. My next level was free. And it was education. So while I was in the gym listening to rap music while I'm working out, I started to change the rap music into education of money, stocks, business. You understand? Spiritual. So now when I work out in the gym, I'm listening to something of education, of knowledge. I don't get to listen to the new rap song. I don't get to listen to the podcast of my, y'all, cat. What I do every Tuesday? What I used to do every Tuesday? Watch Corey Holcomb. Every Tuesday is my Corey Holcomb. I'm listening to my OG Percy. But you know, I can't get, I don't get a chance to listen to my favorite podcast anymore because now I have to, I got to get this next free level. The, it's education is free. It's on the internet. I got an iPhone. I got a laptop. I got tablets. got TVs. I got a PS5. I can find this education. So I had the fitness. I got I had a I got a good job. I got side business. So now increase this education. Increase this knowledge that is out here for free. And that's what my next free that's what my, my next level looked like for me. And that's what I've been searching on for the last for the last five months. I've been on education, 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 audio books, buying books, audio books, audio books, audio books. Podcast of, of knowledge and wealth, health, learning about the body, uh, learning about the system uh, of the body, learning about you know how the brain works, learning about how to control my urge, my urges, 
You know what I'm saying? I've been just trying to gain a bundle of knowledge, real estate, stock market. No matter what the knowledge is in, I don't care if I don't have it in my physical life. I'm finna learn about it. Um, I just watched a new uh, video last night about how to um how to buy a house. Like I said, I'm not all the way there yet, but we real close there. We re we hanging in the circle of buying houses. What it look like? How how much money should I put down? I'm learning that if I put no money down, that's the setup because the 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 the, the mortgage investigators or investors. You go down with the zero down payment. Yeah, it look good for zero down payment, but they hit you on the back end where you be paying thousands of dollars more, whether if you had that 20% down payment. So I'm learning about things that can that can help me move forward because this next level is free. And this next level is just simply education. It, I'm already in the gym. I already got a good job. Now I need to get this education to go with all this other stuff I have. And it's free. The next level is always free. He right. You guys, and for some of you that's already up there, the next level for you is probably still free as well because you're probably lacking on physical fitness or education in some department. You might even be lacking on sobriety. You might have that's made true, it through no man's Summer land. Right? And that's true. You freaking open up the canopy. You took a break for a while. You guys heard me tell these stories. You've taken a break for a while. You decided to sit on the porch, drink some beer, and let the world go by. Now you're getting bored and you're like, man, I need to do something. The next level, put the beer down, get, get in shape, start to educate yourself. Sobriety, physical fitness and education is oh, always the next level. It's free. It is. Free. That's another thing that I've been doing. Learning about me and accepting my truths about me. Um, one thing I know, one thing I have noticed about learning about self. Boy, it's scary. For a lot of people to know you know yourself because they have to change the way that they look at you now because you have fully admitted to yourself that this is who I am. And when you say that to the people that are around you, they have to regroup themselves because they used to you lying about who you truly are. Now you open about this is who I am and I cannot deny who I am. I cannot hide me no longer. A lot of people get scared of that. They start feeling some type of way. Like, I would rather you lie and, and, and act like that's not. No, this is who I am. And, but, and I'm trying to increase me each and every day. Free. I can't stress that enough. <clears throat> Next order of business. This guy right here is named Robert C. Edson on YouTube. That I see is professionalism. It's link will be in the description yourself on my YouTube in a channel. Proper professional manner move as if people are that's what they used to tell us in the army move let, let me see my boy say what hourly rate would you consider a good job for the u.s in general it, it based on your circumstances you know what i'm saying um it, it's based on your circumstances i right now make 45 dollars an hour sometimes 50 dollars an hour um that's good for my circumstances $45, $50 an hour might be not enough for your circumstances. So it depends on where you at in life. Where I'm at in life, I make $45 to $50 an hour. Um, with, with, a, with, with bonuses sometimes attached to them nightly. Um, and I have side business. So it's just wherever you at in life that you feel whatever... Whatever you making that can supply your 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 comfortability, your household, because fifteen dollars might be you might be still in school and all you need is fifteen dollars an hour. You might be part time college, you know. So it's wherever you at in life that can supply all your needs. You know what I'm saying? As if somebody is always watching, because they are. We live in an attention seeking society. We live in an area, in a world, mm. at a time in the world where everybody has a camera in their hand. If you guys are really trying to go far in life, clean up your social media, clean up your Facebooks, clean up your Instagram, stay off the porn, get off the freak of pornography. There's nothing good on there. And you need to understand those people are paid for that. 
Okay, so it's highly unlikely that that type of stuff is going to happen to you. You need to stay off those things because it's just not real. Though, regardless how you view it, those are actors. Okay, lay right. off of it, guys. It eats away at your brain. Don't worry, I'm not. I've done it. I've done it a thousand I times. That you over, trust me. I've, I've looked at that crap. We all Love you have. Too, big everybody dog. has. It eats away though at you. And I think I think a lot of older men, you know, and I, I, women, I'm sure as well, know exactly what I mean. That that stuff will start to just, it, it just, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know the proper word for it. Eventually, you just feel dirty looking at it. You just get so old. You get old enough to where you're just like, I don't want to see this. You know what I'm saying? Like you just look, you just feel dumb for looking at it. For I do. I don't know about everybody, but I, I see this stuff. I'm like, I'm good. I don't want to watch this shit. You know, it just. <laughs> So lay off the porn, guys, for sure. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for you. It's just, it's just not. It's not good for you. Lay off of it. I haven't watched porn in a while. Um, I used to be a big porn watcher, but I can honestly say I haven't watched porn in about about four months. And before the before the time that I watched it, before the four months. I haven't watched it years. So I was just chilling one day. For years, I haven't watched porn. And one day, I just ran into some shit on Facebook, you know what I'm saying, and looked at a couple. For like a couple days, I was like, okay. Started watching it a little bit. And then I was back to, fuck, I'm watching it, you know. I don't, I don't really don't care about it. So I, I, I haven't watched porn for years. Then I ended up watching it for like two days in a row. And then, um, now I haven't watched it now for like four months, but I don't watch porn. Like, like I said, I just watched it that, that two days in a row, but before then I haven't watched porn in years. And now it's about four months because I broke it for them little two days, but I don't watch porn. It just, it's irrelevant to me. It, it just, I don't know. It just, I don't, it's just irrelevant. That's all I can say. But learn to conduct yourself in a proper professional manner. Clean up the beard. Clean up the hair. Ladies, you do the same. You know, the, yeah, my, my channel you. is predominantly men. My analytics tell me that my channel are men ranging from 22 to 45 years old from all different walks of life from all over the country. But I do have women on the channel. I have about from analytics, I have about 8% of women. The other 92 are young, young to middle aged men. And so this works for everybody. Clean yourself up. Clean yourself up. You know, it just, I mean, you don't have to go out and see professionals, get your hair done and your nails done, but do the best you can for it. Always clean yourself up, hold your head high, walk and conduct yourself in a professional, proper manner. Work on your speech habits. Do not sit back and constantly, you know when it's a time and place to be cussing. You know when it's a, I mean, it just, it just is, guys. You know when you should cuss, when you shouldn't. If you don't know how to talk without cussing, practice. Literally, practice. Practice to talk. That's one thing I notice about the professional. As you, as you start climbing a ladder of money and wealth, there's less cursing. Hanging around rich people, they rarely curse. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, you know, it, it's funny that he said that. Since I've been hanging around very wealthy men and women, I rarely hear curse words. Talk to practice to speak without using profanity. If that means you have to slow down and think before you speak, that's literally, I know people say you better think before you speak or you better think before you talk to me. I know people say that and they usually say it in a rude, out of anger kind of way, but that is real. Learn to practice thinking before you speak. Give people a solid answer. I don't care how long you got to think. If the, if the question is deep and meaningful and it deserves a meaningful answer, think before you speak. I don't care if you got to sit there 10 minutes. Tell them, hold on, you asked me a legit question. I'm going to give you a legit answer. And think about it. If the person around you can't understand that, then they're probably they're not your people. 
that's not your people at all. You're probably the smartest person in the room and you need to go find other rooms to be in. I used to be the smartest man in the room until I created this channel. And then the community here, I'm like, I ain't the smartest guy no more. And I love it because now it makes me level up. So I am no longer the smartest man in the room and I am thankful for that. I love this community. I love this platform. This platform, this community means more to me than a lot of things I got going on out here in my real world, in my controllable life, it's this platform right here means a lot more to me just because of you guys. That's why I ask that you guys find me on other platforms. That way, if something does happen here, I still have a lot of you over there, or at least the ones that want to be here. I realize that, you know, my following is growing to, you know, 12, 13,000 people and so on, and it's going to keep growing, but there's only active members. There's actively like everyday hardcore active there's it's less than 500 so to those that are very very in the know and have been with me for a long time i would really like you to find me on another platform to make sure that we're able to keep up because ultimately if something happened i would hope you're doing well and i would probably wonder i, I would and it's not a probably i would wonder about you guys and wonder how you're doing you know to the ones that are very active who who i've built relationships with and to you newcomers that's not saying we can't build relationships but conduct yourself in a proper professional manner move as if somebody is always watching that is something else that i'm always seeing in you know with the coaching that i'm dealing with with the young men guys sobriety and professionalism if you're trying to get to that next level, it is going to be sobriety, professionalism, physical fitness. OK, those are things. Education. Those are things that are just free, guys. It's character building. It's personal development. It's free. I'm not going to beat that beat on that a lot. That's a that's a that's like beat, like I say all the time, that's beating a dead horse. I'm beating it till it walks again, man. I'm not going to beat on that anymore. Next. I like this one. I was asked that now this pertains to investments, but right now I was asked how to build your credit report. A young man reached out to me and said he just got his first credit card. How can he build his report? How can he build up his credit score with and with and anybody? Please leave it. Hey man, y'all know I like to touch on this because I've been telling y'all about my credit and my journey with my credit for a while now. Let's let's pull it up. Um. You know, I told y'all I started with a five. I, I told y'all the other day, I think it was a five. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. I started in the 500s. Building my credit at 32 years old. Never had a credit card. Never. And, and, and what I'm talking about, a lot of people say this is personal business. A lot of people don't like to share this type of information. I started building my credit May 30th, 2024, 32 years old. A lot of people be ashamed to say that. I'm not ashamed to say that. Why? Because I'm trying to get better. Getting better means you have to not be ashamed of where you come from. You feel me? So I'm not ashamed of where I started. <clears throat> 32 years old, May 30th, 2024, I had a 529. Today, I have a 651. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. In six months, I went from a 529 to a 651. I'm working. I'm working. And my credit, I'm going to get a credit update this before this month is out, which I should be at a 700. Before this month is out. If not before this month is out, on maybe on the sixth, the sixth of next month, I'll be at the 700. That's I'm working on myself. I'm not just looking at things pass me by. I'm learning about these things and I'm applying them to my life. At 32 years old is when I started to build my credit. And I have been working diligently, diligently. God damn, I want to say that word. I've been working overtime on making sure my credit is in a better situation for everybody around me. Because if I have great credit, that means I get to benefit everybody around me in, in, a, in, a, in a way that we need this credit. We need to have a 
We, we should all strive to have no lower than a 700. Knowing what we know about the credit system, 700 should be the lowest that we would, would, would want our credit. You know what I'm saying? And if it's lower than a 700, that means we got work to do. We need to have a 700 or higher. Anything in the comments below, but he uh, just got his first credit card. He's trying to build his credit score and he didn't want to make mistakes. He asked me, what should he buy? What shouldn't he buy? So this goes for all of you. How to use your credit card to build your credit, to build a positive credit score. For me personally. Yes, sir. I got you. I only use my credit card for my day to day life for uh, not for junk. I use it for everything that I would have to have paid for anyway. I pay my rent. I pay my lights. I pay my water. I pay my gas. I pay all these things like that on a credit card. It all comes out on my credit card. For one, it does two things. It not only builds my credit, one thing, it protects me. It gives me a second level of protection because if something happens, it happens to the credit card first and not to my cash. So if you don't understand this, do not do this. But I'm breaking this down so simple. And this is what I told this young man. He had about $350 a month worth of bills. He was only 19, guys, 19 years old. He had about $350 a month worth of bills. And he just got a credit card with a $1,000 limit. I told him, if you really want to build your credit, never max out your credit card because that looks bad. You need to find your report date. What is your report date on the? The reason I said a 700 because the average American credit score is 620. So if you got a 650, you are already is in a different bracket of the average American citizen. So although, you know, like I said, you may know more than me about it, but based on what I have learned, a 700 can get you a lot of things. Um, a 650 could get you a lot of things. The average American has a 620. So you above the average American once you start hitting that 630, that 640, that 650, that 680, that 700, that 720. A 850 is the highest it goes. So you you hit a 700, you up there. You in you in the known. You in the you in the bracket to make some things happen for yourself. You can get some some things going to start some some business to create some real asset using your credit. So yes, a 700 may have gotten you farther back in the days, but a 700 can still get you to dance around this world if you know what you're doing. Credit card, you can just call the credit card company and say, what is my report date? Your bill needs to be paid by the due date or before that report date. Sometimes they're different. Sometimes your due date is not the report date. So you need to ask them that. What's the due date? What's the report date? Are they the same? Your bill needs to be paid before, guaranteed before the report date, but it, it pay it by the due date, guys. That's best. So my, I have two credit companies. I have credit card with Navy Federal, and I have a credit card with uh, Capital One. Both of my credit cards have different due dates and different closing dates. Um. I pay all my credit cards before the closing date. I don't, I make a small payment on the due date, but I never have a due date because I never have a balance. Uh, I do not carry a balance. I know from what I have learned, there's people that is in indifference about whether you should carry a balance, whether they shouldn't carry a balance. I made the personal preference decision to just not carry a balance. Uh, but like I said, Based on what I see, people have issues. They go to back and forth, like, you should carry a balance. What you doing? You messing up. You letting the people know that you're not using your car. But I think it don't make logical sense for them not to think I'm not using my car if they fucking see that I have used $2,000, $3,000. How the fuck they going to say I ain't using my car? So logical sense, that don't make sense to me. But maybe they work like that. But I don't think they work like that. And then I see people also say, no, they don't work like that. They know you're using your car. They can fucking see that you're using your car. It shows how much money you spent. You just paid it off. So I use my credit card for everything I do. Um, this is an issue that I just got on to Ket about. She was using her 
debit card. And I keep fucking telling her, why the fuck is you using your debit card? And I said it just like that because it really, it really bothered me that we are learning all this knowledge and you not applying it. Don't use your debit card. If you got the money to pay for it, just use the credit card and pay the credit card. Give the money right back to the credit card. When we can build our credit that we know we need this source of, of, of whatever it is, you know, whatever this thing, this thing hold this powerful weight in this country, credit. So we need this source. So ain't no sense of using your debit debit card when you have a credit card. And, you know, I had to get on to her about that. Only I told the young man to only pay for the 350 on the credit card because you were going to have to pay that out of your paychecks anyway. And then you pay back the credit card with your work employment, your W-2 cash. I hope I'm making sense. So the credit card funds your life. If you only uh, have a res- small limit respect. and your credit card is $1,000 a month and you're a young man or woman and your lifestyle is 350 to $500 a month, that's gas, that's your eat out food, that's that's whatever it was. It runs you 350 to oh, $500 a month. got the 807. His wife got the pay 805. everything. The 350 500 on your credit card, and then make sure you pay your credit card back off every month before the due date, before the reporting date. Do not max out your credit card because it will 100% lower your score. It will be harder for you to pay off. It will start drawing interest. Do not max it out. You pay your credit card off every month. This is what I do. All my household bills, I, I don't use my credit card for fast food and things like that. I use it for my bills. All my, because I have to pay those anyway. All my household bills come out on my credit card, and then I just transfer that money from my job and pay back off my credit card. And that right there keeps my credit constantly moving. And and, and check this out for my people that say, because you know, I rock with a lot of different creators, and some creators talk crazy about the credit card. They don't like it because they feel like a lot of people is using it for the wrong reason. Like my brother in the chat just said, a lot of people get credit and use it for liabilities. A lot of people don't know that they can go buy homes and then have put those homes on the market to sell them using their credit. A lot of people don't know they can go buy cars and put them on Turo using credit. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people do use their credit cards to go on vacation, to go shopping and things like this. Based on what we know, that's the wrong way to use it. Unless that's what you're going to do and you have the money right there to pay for that anyway. Like if you're going to go buy them J's anyway, if you're going to go buy those forces anyway, okay, use your credit card. But if you just saying, I just want some shoes today, I just want some clothes today. It's no point of using your credit card for something to just flourish on it when this is a serious thing that affects everything about your life. This credit stuff affect everything about your life. You don't, you don't have your name because all credit is is putting something on your name. You know, can your name hold the weight to pay this off? So you're going to put this on your name. If you had cash and you was like Donald Trump, his credit is his name, Donald Trump. Um, Elon Musk, that's his credit. His credit is his name. But see, for us, our credit is this number. We can't use our name as credit. We haven't done nothing in this world for people to say, that's your name, Anonymous 2K TV. Like, I got some credit on my name in 2K. Hey, bro, can I get uh, can I get some runs here with you? Okay, your name, Anonymous 2K TV. I can give you some runs on your name. You feel me? That's how credit works. So we go by this number, though, because we don't have a name in this world that can get some credit on it. So they give us this number system of this cash that we don't have somebody else cash and they trust us with this cash. So we should pay it off, but we should not be using this credit cash for a reason that don't really make sense. And you know, you don't have the funds for it. If you know, you don't get paid till next week, then just wait till next week to use this credit card. Don't use this credit card and you're not for sure going to get this money to pay it back. Now you finna fuck with your whole life. You're not fucking with just, oh, I owe him and I'll pay him back later. No, this shit start fucking with your ability to own a home, to go get a car. Like, you can go get all this stuff, but you're gonna spend way more money because your credit is fucked up 
versus having good credit. Now you're getting this stuff at a cheaper rate. <clears throat> it keeps my credit score constantly in flow. Okay, so I'm not just setting stagnant. I'm not setting stagnant on cash. I'm not setting stagnant in credit. Everything looks good. My score is constant flow. You understand? But I don't use my credit card for stupid stuff. I'm not going to go max out my card for Christmas, guys. That's just retarded. I'm not going to go do that. And I know some of you will because you feel uh, obligated tough. to buy these tough. things and you are not. Guys, you are not. There's going to have to tell you all the time. There is going to have to be a period of sacrifice. You will have to sacrifice. And that sacrificial period may look like we can't have a nice Christmas this year. Thanksgiving's going to be a little thin this year. As long as you have this plan up here of getting to the next level of where I'm going, then yes, I will bite the bullet and I will sacrifice. Yo, for everybody that's in here that's struggling right now, Everybody that is somebody went through the stages that you're going through. That's what's so beautiful about struggling. Because you know it's nothing to come out on top. You just have to keep your head down and keep moving the chains. What they what them running backs be doing? Put their head down and just keep moving forward. You're not. You're not nowhere that this person before you haven't been. So don't look at it like, oh, man, I'm struggling. Shit all bad for me. Shit ain't all bad for you. You're going down the right path of success. Everybody that is somebody, go read it. Go look it up. Go Google. Go do your fact checking. Everybody that is somebody went through the same heartaches, the same headaches, the same hunger. The same sleeping on the floor. The, the same sleeping in somebody's basement. The same eating out the trash can. The same uh, asking for a dollar. The same asking for a ride to work. The same ride. This dude used to ride his bike to work. This dude was a grown-ass man riding a bike to Longhorns. Now he a six-figure man. Uh, he headed to the seven figures. We can go look at some of our seven figures, eight figures, and hear about how they slept on the floor, how they had to bum their way to success. So for my G's that is in an uncomfortable spot right now, you exactly where you want to be. That's the spot because you know this is the spot that leads you to success. But you have to keep trucking because if you don't truck, you don't go. If you don't move your feet, you don't go. So I'm saying you're in the right spot to get to where you need to be, but if you don't move your feet, you're going to stay right there in that spot. You got to move the feet. You got to get up and go to work. You got to get up and put it. Man, I listened to my nigga C Boogie the other day, bro. He said some cold shit, dog. And I'm going to have to play that for y'all one of these days. He said some cold shit. Dude came into his chat. The dude said he got a nine to five, but he's 42 years old. Don't have nothing going on with his life. All he got is a nine to five. My nigga C Boogie said, What? Nine to five? You 42 years old? Staying at somebody else's house and all you got is a nine to five? I said, Nigga, I started popping my shit. I'm watching the shit popping my shit. Do y'all know how many hours I work a day? Yo, I'm popping my shit right now. I'm popping my shit right now. Do you know how many hours I work a day? I just got off this morning at 4 a.m. I just got off this morning at 4 a.m. I made it home about 4.30. I created one YouTube video in my editor, video editor, then took my shower, laid down. My daughter came and jumped on my head at 9 a.m. Hold on, let me say this. I went to work at 10. I went to work at 9. I went to work at 9. Worked until 4 a.m. Made it back home about 5. Made one YouTube video. When it took my shower, when it got in the bed, my daughter jumped on my head at 9. Got up at 9. Looked at the YouTube stuff, 
um, took another bow, came down, live stream, and eat it. Nigga, you don't sleep when you grinding, when you hungry, when you own it. Nigga say he got a nine to five. Bro, there's no such thing as a nine to five when you trying to get it. Man, I was like, don't kill this nigga. Nigga talking about he 42, living at somebody else's house, and all you got is a nine to five? My nigga said, where's the nine to nine? We don't do, nigga, we don't stop working. I don't stop working. I'm working 24-7 a day. Either I'm at work or I'm at the gym or I'm reading or I'm listening to some audio book or I'm live streaming or I'm working on another business. Nigga, we don't stop. And, and listen, we don't talk about, oh, that ain't healthy. Ain't healthy, nigga. Try living in somebody else's house while they degrading you. Try, try, try living in the basements where it's cold. Try, try asking somebody for a ride to work, nigga, and nobody answering the phone. Nigga, that's, 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 nigga, that's like their pain. Nah, nigga, I, you think it's pain to be hustling for myself? No, nigga said a nine to five. Nigga, we don't have no nine to five. We got a nine to five, and then a 12 to six, and then, nigga, a three-hour nap, and then another three hours of grinding on your own business. I'm going to work for this man right here. I'm going to go to his company, and I'm going to work my ass off, and when I get off his job, I'm going to my own job. Because I'm not going to give his job all of me and not give myself all of me. So while I'm working out 9 to 5, once I get off my 9 to 5, even while I'm at my 9 to 5, I'm still hustling on my own stuff. I'm still making sure I got some video ready to come out at a certain time. I'm still making sure that all uh, my stocks and real estate and all that shit that I got going on looking good so you can see my numbers and my numbers go up and, or down or whatever they're going to do. Bro, when you trying to get it in life, you don't have one job. You got a thousand of them. You got a thousand jobs when you're trying to get it in life. Ain't no nine to five. You telling me you come home and you kick your feet up and you ain't where you want to be. So you did your eight hours a day and now you checking out. You, what? That's crazy. You did your eight hours, your 10 hours, your 12 hours. You tired? Well, we know where you ain't going to be. You only going to go so far because you ain't willing to put in that overtime. You don't feel like you done did all your hours for the day, but you did all your hours for somebody else. Now, where's the hours for you? You ain't got enough energy to go to the gym because you don't work 12 hours? Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Quit playing. You done did your nine to five. Now you tired. You finna go to sleep. Well, how long you going to sleep? It better be for three hours, four hours, five hours. Where the extra reps in it? What, where's the extra reps? Because what we know about working out, you don't start growing muscle until you hit the fatigue part. So all that right there, that ain't nothing. This is where you start. Uh, uh, yeah, that's where the muscle start coming in. This right here, all you're doing is looking good for the people that's watching. Now, now you're working out. Because you done got tired. Now you building muscles. So when you do your 9 to 5, that ain't nothing. What you doing after the 9 to 5 is where you start to grow it. Though. It's Christmas 2024 for a healthy, happy, beautiful Christmas in 2025. I will sacrifice that. And then my kids will understand because as they get older, I will tell them, do you remember that Christmas in 24 when we didn't have anything? And they'll be like, yeah, I remember that. Like, I did that on purpose for us to have something now. You understand? And you explain that to them. And they'll remember. They'll be like, okay, I get it. She went into the negative. My mother went into the negative. My daddy went into no man's land. We didn't have nothing that year, but the next like year, that. we flipped Nine to five is all warm up. <laughs> Do not max out your credit cards for the holidays. I know some of you are going to do it. I know this is going to go in one ear and out the other, but that right there is how you run your credit. It's how you dig yourself into a negative hole. It, it, it's just a no-brainer, guys. I get asked on this channel a lot about investments. Guys, Hey, my boy say, my boy say, 
I'm working right now on my birthday and have your screen running in the studio. The grind don't stop. I got to work on Thanksgiving. And, uh, one of my partners said, you know, if you don't want to come to work on Thanksgiving, I got it. Let me see. Let me see what I text him back. I can't remember. Oh, uh, I should be good for Thursday. I don't do holidays. <laughs> yeah, that's what I text back. Yeah, I should be good. I should be good. Nah. Nah, I'm gonna be there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to work to get mine. Because when I go to work and get theirs, then I come back and put it into my own corporation. So I'm coming to get their money. Oh, I'll be there to get that little money. Well, it ain't no little money, but I'll be there to get their money. So I can use their money to invest into my own corporation. So now, nah, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat Thursday too. Yeah, I'm still going to eat good. But I'm going to eat good on the way there. Yeah, uh, give me my plate to go. Shout out to my boy. Happy birthday, man. Happy 46th birthday, man. We appreciate you for rocking out with us, dog. For real, for real. Happy birthday, man. Shout out to my boy T-Rex, man. Today is 46th birthday, you. dog. Blessing. I get asked on this channel a Lou. lot about investments. You need to understand cash first. Cash, if you can't understand cash, it's going to be very hard for you to understand how to invest. You need to understand the dollar before you start to invest. Because the way the dollar works is you trade your time in any form. It yes. doesn't matter. In any form, you are going to trade your time, whether it be in labor, whether it be in sales. <laughs> doesn't matter, guys. You will trade time <laughs> said 30 hour for days. exchange of currency for cash. Okay, so there's your first investment right there. That's why I tell people to invest in themselves first. Your first invest. How many people see all these billionaires still working? That should tell you something. That should tell you something. These billionaires, I do security for multi-millionaires. They still getting up, going to work. I be like, what the fuck? Man, where is this nigga going? This nigga is driving a Rolls Royce $500,000 car. This nigga got a $500,000 G-Wagon with extra shit on it, pushing it up to six hundred some thousand. This nigga got what type of car? This a what? Aston Martin? What? Nigga, can I? Nigga, what? Where is you going? I'm going to work just like you. Yeah, you work protecting me and I work for somebody too. It, it, it might be for myself, but I still got to go to work. Because if I want to keep this business right here that you see, if I want to keep these things that you see, I have to go to work too. So multi-millionaires, billionaires are still clocking. Investment is cash. You just traded your time for cash. So you just invested your time into this cash dollar that is being put in your hand. Time never comes back. Time never comes back. That's why I tell you to invest in yourself. Get away from the losers. Get away from the drugs and alcohol. Get away from the people that aren't serious. Invest in yourself, which ultimately is still time but will bring you more cash. So now my time, instead of being traded for $15 an hour, my time is being invested and traded for 30 or 40 or $50 an hour. You understand? Because I invested in myself. I went into the negative. I went into no man's land. You have to pay me for that. I went into no Wait man's land. Guys, I'm still there. Appreciate that. I tell that. you that all the time. I am still there. It is a lonely journey. It is a lonely just in case y'all ain't hear me, I said I work for multi-millionaires and, and a few billionaires, and they still go to work. Just in case y'all ain't hear me, that's what I was saying. These niggas still get up at 4 or 5 in the morning, hit the gym, clean up, and get ready for work. Multi-millionaires and a few billionaires, they still clocking in. Process, Just in case y'all ain't hear me. But I am still there. I went into no man's land years ago. The canopies <clears throat> opened up. I saw the sunshine. I said, I'm going to sit here for a minute. 
got real bored. I, I mean, I sat there. It wasn't a few months. I said, fuck this shit. Went back into no man's land because I needed more. It wasn't enough. Well, I got I got to where I was at. I got real comfortable. You know what came? Child support. Here comes child support. Child support pushed me back into no man's land again. It wasn't enough. I kept moving forward. So you're going to trade your time for currency. Go to no yeah. man's land. Enter no man's land and educate yourself, okay? Develop yourself up here. Personal development, self-education. Develop your mind. That way now the time. Last night I was working for one of my uh, clients. And I was at a club with one of my clients last night. The music went out, but the video was still playing. Guess what? I do security. What I tell y'all, I need to know everything about the place that I'm working at. So he went back there to go see what was going on. Guess what I was doing? So what, what you did right there? He said, yeah, okay, so the sound system had cut off, and all I did was turn it back on. I said, oh, okay, how you turned it back on? Oh, this button right here? Okay. I'm telling you, dog. I'm not playing no games. I don't just come and tell y'all this. I don't go to work to just do my job anymore. I go to work to do everybody's job. That makes me more valuable than the next guy. It's a game. You have to increase your value. I am the most valuable security office at this, this, this client that I'm talking about. I am the most valuable security officer there is. They actually tried to get me to take their lead guy spot. But the way that they did it, this particular client, I wouldn't do it because In business, they say we should not be loyal to people like that. But I am a guy that is loyal to a code. I am, I am a bro code guy. Although I understand that can cost me things in life, but I, I live by a code. And you got to do things the proper way. So they tried to get me to take a lead role. And they wanted me to, they tried to do it through the back door. And that's not how I operate. But I'm, what I'm saying is, why did they do that? But they still gave me the money. You understand what I'm saying? So they, they wanted me to take the lead role, but they offered it to me through the back door instead of having us both there and explaining to him that they didn't like how he was doing things and they wanted me to be their main guy. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't like how they came to me with it. But I understand that's how business work. And I'm still in the mindset of, I'm all the way not business minded because my route is morals and code. And when we when we talking about business, there is no moral, no code. They cut throat. That's how business work. So I'm not a cut throat businessman. And I like, you know, you know, I appreciate it. But guess what? I didn't take the role, but they still gave me the money as an incentive to, okay, well, can you do an extra day for us? Can you come over here on a Thursday? We know you just do Friday, Saturday, um, and, and you know you do Sundays with us, but can you do Thursday with us? Guess what, y'all? Last night they said, they, they said, hey, we would like for you to do Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday, because Thanksgiving is Thursday. You know it's going to be very slow, so could you come Wednesday for us? I can come. So, so next week they want me to come Wednesday, which is an add-on day. And, you know, they asked me to come Thursday, which is an add-on day. And they be want me to come on a Sunday, and they want me to be the league guy. So this is what happens when you increase your value. And let me tell y'all, because I increase, increase my value with them, I told them I can do this, but I will be leaving at 4 o'clock. I will no longer stay until 8 and uh, 7.30 in the morning. Because we normally, they normally would be open from, I live in Miami. This one client ran his business from this club from 9 p.m. to 7.30, Friday, Saturday. On Sundays, they might close at 6, 7 o'clock. They get it. So because I increase in my value, 
I told him I would only do 10 to 4. Six hours. What I make in six hours? Tough. Tough. And that's what happens when you increase your value. That's what happens when you put yourself in a position to where you learn things and the way you conduct yourself business. People have to pay you more, and then they don't mind paying you for a little bit of your time. So I work for six hours a day, and I make a lot of money for six hours. time that we're trading gives me more currency. My time is worth more money. You need to understand cash because that is your first investment, and you cannot get your time back. Everybody, as you age, really understands this. You start to realize that I have less runway in front of me. There's more runway behind me than what's, going, what's in front of me. And everybody starts to understand that as you age. When you're young, you just run through time. We all did it. We all do it. And some people don't, though. Some people are fast-tracking, man. They're, they're 21, 22, 25 years old. Trying, stuff like this didn't exist when I was around, guys. So, you know, hats off to you for actually using this. I'm proud mm, when the young people, facts. men and women, contact me. Um, <clears throat> talked to a young lady the other day, 25 years old, getting it, getting it, proud. I would love to see, I hope I can stay in contact with her. I would love to see what 35 looks like for that young lady. It was insane where she was at. Talked to a young man, I don't know, uh, two, three weeks ago. 25 years old, I believe. No, 28 years old. Getting it, getting after it. I'm like, my God, like this dude, like he's about to beat me if he stays down. If he stays down until he comes up, this dude's passing me and probably in the next 24 months. Won't be that hard. It's not that hard for him. Income was high. Savings was high. Like dude was, dude was on it. Um, looking at buying franchises. The man was on it. So when I see younger guys getting into this stuff, take advantage of all this because it wasn't around when people my age were coming up. It just was not around. So that is how you properly use your credit card. You use it to pay for your monthly bills, your monthly expenses, and then you pay that back in cash. It builds your credit and it protects you against any theft because the credit card company that way you, that way. I had a couple of credit card issues where I went to buy a car a few months back and the deal didn't go through with the car. Um but I had already bought the insurance for it. Because I used my credit card, they got my money back like that. A month later, these people still charge me as if I was still with their insurance. Y'all know how they grind me, grind me, MFB. You know how they do. So the insurance still was trying to charge me, even though they know, because we already canceled the policy because I didn't get the car. Um, so I called my insurance. I called my credit card and talked to them. No issue. Don't worry. We'll handle that. And that's the power of a credit card. See, when you're using your own cash and you're using your bank, see, they won't go out and go get this money like that. They won't put up a fight for, your, for that money. But credit cards, oh, best believe, you're going to have to answer to them. Them credit cards don't play when it comes to their money. But if you're using your bank money, if you're using your personal money, man, you know how much fucking hell you got to go through. Them people was actually telling me I need to go to the car lender place the car place that i was getting the car from have them to write a letter saying that i did not get the car all for me to cancel my policy when i've been canceling the policy but it was like no you never sent we never got a letter i was like can't y'all just call them it was like no nah, you gotta get a letter because they wanted to keep getting money because you know to write letters and all that shit would be a long fucking process so they still gonna be charging me I said, so y'all really finna keep charging me when I, y'all, I don't got no car. I've been counseling, but we never received a letter. My, I called my motherfucking credit card. I called Navy Federal. Navy Federal credit card side got on their ass and got my money. Wait, nothing. Your bank account information is not out there. It's all credit card information. It's out there. And it protects you. It protects you. It builds your credit and it protects you against theft because the credit card is not going to allow anybody to steal from them. They're going to monitor that fast. They and they're going to fix it. And then 
you still have your cash safe in your bank account. So that's how you properly use a credit card. Do not max it out and know your uh, uh, due dates. Know your report dates. When's your bill due? When's the report date? Find out if they're the same. When it comes to investing, you need to understand cash before you choose to invest in anything else. Cash is your first investment. If you cannot get cash down, if you cannot fully understand what money is, money is transactional. I tell you guys the river method. It's a currency. It has to keep moving. You need the only thing that should be sitting still and stagnant in your life when it comes to money is your emergency fund. And if you don't have the system up your ass, if you're not on child support and everything else, then by all means, lock your emergency fund into a high yield savings account. But you need to fully understand that your emergency fund is fully exposed to the government when you do that. I don't like that. I would. It's not worth it to me. I would rather my emergency fund just set in cash and I, whatever. If it gets ate up with inflation, that's fine. But your emergency fund, I mean, ten to twenty five thousand dollars is. I'm, you know, but I mean, that's that's it. We can talk about that. I'm, I'm, I've built a solid foundation for myself. My foundation looks like gold, silver, cash, credit cards, credit, everything. You know, I've built I understand how what I'm doing and where everything is. I have proper placement. I'm positioned very well. So we can go over my foundation, which would also I've been asked to cover a prepping video. Uh, I built my foundation with a preppers mindset. So my financial foundation comes from prepping as well. I'm not only prepped in canned goods, MREs, you know, um, camping gear and firearms, firearms and things like that. I am prepped with the mindset of finances as well. So there is that, guys. I hope that helps. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If there's anything I missed for those that are really uh really developed in this area of credit scores and finance and things of this nature. If there's anything I missed or anything you'd like to add, please leave that in the comments below. I'm not always right. And you know, running. I will say this too. I just had a conversation. I just talked to the credit for our people yesterday. Um, I was looking, I was inquiring about um, a balance increase. And in my head, I like to pay more money than I should. Um, so let's just say for an example, your balance, your, this is not my balance, but I'm just giving you an example. Let's say my max balance was $200. I'll give them $300. I was told yesterday that that's not good to do. Don't overpay because I overpay a lot. And, um, I thought in my head, if I'm showing them that, yeah, I got that, I got the money. And I'm going to overpay and I'm going to always be on time. I never carry a balance. I thought that would make them like, let them know that I got money to increase my credit balance because I don't want to use my cash money. I want to use their credit card system. Why? Because that's the system that's running America, this credit system. So I'm trying to get my balance increase. Um, and I just found out like I'm eligible for an increase. Um, it just haven't happened yet. So, um, they was, they told me don't overpay on my balance. So if my balance $200 only pay $200, don't be trying to give us no hundred dollar extra. So I don't know how that, that's what she told me. Um, I don't know how true that is, but you know, I, she worked at the credit card place. So I take her word for it. And through these things in the morning, sometimes I do miss stuff. So I would love to to hear the comments from the group. I would love to hear them. And uh, last but not freaking least, stop looking for people to, to support you, man. I don't have a script here, guys. I have a post-it to kind of keep me on track. That's it. If you see me look down, I have a post-it to keep me on track. That way I know what I, where I want to. All right, so I'm going to have to end it right there. But like I said, if y'all want to go continue to listen to his type of content, his name is Robert C. Edson on YouTube. It's linked to that video and to his channel will be in my description um, on YouTube. So if you want to go check out his content, man, uh, I just heard Josiah wake up. So I'm finna I got to get on daddy duties. But uh, this is the type of content I try to bring to y'all, man.
You know, like I said, we we need to develop in more things than just being great at 2K. We need to develop in our everyday life. And I feel like some of these videos is it's gonna be a help because they help me. I am so much farther than where I was a year ago. All because of listening to audio books, listening to podcasts, that's gonna help me. Stop entertaining content that not really gonna thrive. I don't watch 2K content, y'all. And I and it's not disrespect my brothers and sisters that you know are creating great YouTube content, 2K content. But like the content I showed y'all of the All City video, I don't watch this stuff. But because I'm getting back into this, and I know 2K is my headquarters, this is where I'm, the core of my supporters are. I have now. I am now back participating in the 2K content. But before today, the only time I watch some 2K content is when I just pop in for a second and say what's up to, to the G's that I say. That, you know, other than that, I don't watch 2K content. I don't watch gossip on YouTube. I don't watch gossip on Facebook, Twitter. So I'm constantly trying to intake things that are going to push me forward, going to elevate my life. And so that's what I'm trying to bring to y'all, man. And I hope it do something for you, you know, and your family. Because we cannot keep saying that we did not know. I don't know. I don't know how to increase my wealth. I don't know how to increase my spiritual cup. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm now uh, meditating. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't meditating a year ago. I'm, I'm learning about how to breathe properly. I didn't even know that we did not breathe properly. That most of us are shallow breather. Shallow, shallow. As in, you see what I'm saying? Now I know that that's the proper way. You know, instead of we taking sips of air and trying to run our body off a sip of air, we, because we, we so used to just breathing for short periods, we not sitting back actually. Breathing in that air and then releasing that air. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm learning about a lot of stuff, bro. I'm learning, dog, and I'm putting. I'm not sitting here just intaking BS because I want to be better. And I want to be a little bit better life. And I want to influence my brothers and sisters that watch me in a better way. I don't want you to ever come to my channel and not get something for the soul, not get something for the spirit, not get something that's gonna lead you into a better path. Once you leave my stream, I want it to be something that you got here that can, okay, okay, let me try this. Let me try this in my life. Let me implement this right here. So, you know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate y'all. Like I said, with that being said, I'll be back uh, later today. You know what I'm saying? Play some 2K. But right now, we're going to go get on these daddy duties. Thank y'all for the support. Bless. See y'all on the next one, man. Y'all be safe.